ready for day 48. 48 of the online dance movement. So let's get going. Got some, you know, music in the background. <laughs> I have to play louder music at the moment because the speaker of my laptop is going. The Yui Boom, for some reason, keeps dropping out because of the wireless. But that'll all be sorted in a couple of days. So we just keep going with the music we can use. Hi Mike, how are you? All right, let's just do a little bit of marching to warm up. We'll go, keep going slowly, then we'll go faster in a minute. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. for two weeks in a row I'll just say hi 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 we're not going to make this one too difficult because that's not really fair I'm beginning to love the music oh great Ornella <laughs> it's growing on you um, so we, yeah the we have Monday to Thursday where we make the level a little bit more difficult and then Friday to Sunday where we make it more appropriate for people who have limited joints range of motion. Well, I think we should make it a bit more appropriate. We'll put it into the middle today because the ones who had the Friday to Sunday have missed out two weekends in a row and only had a couple of classes. I just try to make it fair for everyone. Hi, Irene, how are you? Irene, we'll do some feet just for you, okay? So this top, it's quite bulky, isn't it? But you know, I love it. So I'm wearing it. Now, what I'm going to do is we'll go straight to the feet. Seeing as I saw Irene come on. Now we're going to, I think what we'll do is we're going to go point, we're gonna do it like releve lawn, which is you slide the foot out, you come up, and then you put the point, the toe on the ground, ball of the foot and come in. We're going to slide it out and up. So you keep it continuous, keep the toes pointed, point, and in and then we're going to slide it out and circle and circle and point i'll have to fix the timing slide it out circle hi melanie um no nicole hi nicole i can't see properly hi donna and point and in slide inwards Slide inwards, slide, flex, slide, flex. Just follow me actually, because I'm probably gonna forget what I'm doing, the way I'm going, aren't I? So just follow me and we'll do it. We'll probably pretty much do that. And I might expand upon it, but let's just stretch out our legs to begin with, because some of us, some of us actually just did a bit of marching. All right. Maybe we should do that again just because some of you have just come on. You know what? We might do that. And the others who've already done it, will you get a double workout? All right. We're doing it slowly to start with. Lift up, lift up. Not with the shoulders. Thank you. 
Keep going slowly. Lift up. Draw the scapulae down. I'll show you that in a minute for those who haven't done that before. Now we'll go faster. Lift up. Every single one is a lift. Just go as high as you can. I mean, comfortably. You don't have to go up here. Just. exercise that we I was starting to show you I'll just wave to a couple of people hi everyone okay and I just haven't missed anyone have I Mike have I seen you before well welcome if I haven't it's nice to have you here all right now let's uh let's do this one this might work if I press, actually press go. Yeah, this will work. You like this one, Ornella? <laughs> it grows on you, doesn't it? Let's go back a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight. Feeling good. Lift it up. Keep it continuous. Lift up the whole time should always feel the liftedness. Keep lifting up, drawing the scapulae down, which I said I'd go over, I will in a minute. And up. Outwards. Come in. Keep it smooth, keep lifted. Shoulders down, falling apart. Outwards. And up. Feel fantastic. Inwards. Down you come. Lift up. Up. Inwards. Well, I said that with a nasal tone, didn't I? <laughs> Inwards. Up. And flex that foot. Point that foot. Point. And other side. Lift it up. Flex that foot. 
Feel the reach through the heel, point that foot. Okay, now we're going to do that last one again. Whole foot, ball of the foot, point, lift. Lift the toes, lift the whole foot. Go through the foot as you point it. Hold it there, lift up, down. That made it a little bit harder, didn't it? Whole foot, ball of the foot, point, up. Now when we flex up, we've got toes up first, then flex the foot, then point the foot, leaving the toes up, then point the toes, down. Yeah. Now, what we might do is we might work now on the calf muscles with the feet. How about that? So we're going to do, we're going to go ball of the foot, spring. Now I want, we're going to spring it all in one in a minute, but we're going to just break it up to start with. So we're going to go ball of the foot, spring. And you're just, just coming off the ground, ball of the foot, down. Ball of the foot, spring. Now when you spring, Try and point your toes downwards as far as you can. Ball of the foot, down. Ball of the foot, spring. Ball of the foot, down. Ball of the foot, spring. Ball of the foot, down. Now you can hold your chairs now, but lift up and spring, down. Now as you spring it, really put ping it if you can. Spring. So you're putting energy right to your toes and making it kind of sharp. Spring. Spring. I've shown you an exercise before if you've been here um, and if you haven't we might go over that again later but I'll just quickly show you when we do this one and we come back in we'll do that in a second that's like sharpening a knife and that movement is taken from batman jeté when you're standing at a ballet bar and you do this exercise where and they do it to the side and to the back and all kinds of things but the idea is that you're shooting it out there and you're stopping in position. And it's really good for strengthening and for placing, placing things in position. So we're going to do that because that will help our feet and our ankles. But for this exercise, we're just going to be doing the little broken up prances. And then we'll go on. <coughs> um, yes, but I did forget something, didn't I? Because I didn't go over the scapulae. We're going to come back to this. Because I'm not sure that Mike's gone over this part yet. Let's now sit up nice and tall. We're sitting on our sit bones. Sitting up nice and tall. And we're not sitting back off our sit bones. We're not sitting too far forward on our sit bones. So we're not, we're not rolling forward. And we're not rolling back off them. We're sitting right on top of them. So if you sort of jiggle from side to side, you can feel those bones. All right. Now, we'll go over the Alexander Technique chant, and you can watch this again and go over it if you need to memorise it. Allow the neck to be free. Allow the weight to go forward and up. Now, by that, I mean it's a feeling of going, moving forward. It's not this feeling of shrinking back. You know, you see people do that. They're shrinking back. We're moving forward and upwards like, like we're on stage. And we're making contact with the audience. You know the difference. You know what I mean, I'm sure. So it's that feeling of being forward and up. Allow the back to lengthen. Now really feel it lengthening from the tip of the coccyx right up to the top of your head. Allow the back to widen. All across the back and the front. Allow the shoulders to fall apart. So it's quite different from holding the shoulders back, which they always used to say once, this is better. There's lots of reasons why. So just shoulders fall apart and allow the tension you might be holding in your lower back to release. So allow the hips to release. Now we've got our belly buttons to our spines. That's engaging our core. So if we sing a note, la, Oh, that was almost okay. You'll note, just try one. 
And if there's no one in your lounge room or wherever you are, you can just sing it out, Louise. Sing out, Louise. That's from Gypsy, the, the stage show Gypsy, isn't it? So when you do that, oh, that was nearly yodel then, the belly button moves towards the spine. And when it does that, guess what happens to your spine? It collects and takes your spine into its own neutral spine. So if you were leaning back by singing that note, blah, it just moves you forward from the last one of those thoracic vertebrae. It just, it because it gathers everything, because the, the little muscles closest to the bones, they go, hmm, engage. Now, because we're, I'm not a singing teacher, and you know, I'm no, certainly not a singing teacher, I'm not teaching you about that. I'm just talking about engaging the core and taking in the easiest possible way that I know how because I learned it using the breath, which is a bit more difficult for most people. But the singing note is just fabulous. And I learned this because I'm in the choir. We learned it in the choir. We learned it from Leanne Keegan and Jonathan Welch. So I'm lucky that I got to be able to make that connection because I'd already learned it using the breath from the injury prevention specialist at the Australian Ballet School. I've been everywhere. <laughs> I'm joking. So that's how we engage the core. And that's the purpose of it, to take your back to its own neutral spine. So when we're sitting, we're feeling like we're lifting up, like we're in the water. You know when you're in the water and you feel that lifted feeling? That's how we feel. Okay, now with our arms, we're going to lift our arms. And as we feel your wing bones now, I want you to draw them down. Not together, down. It's a tricky feeling to get at first. So draw them down and keep the arms really light and lift them up like they're light as feathers. Don't engage your shoulders. Your shoulders are out of the picture. They're just completely falling apart. Keep drawing the, the wing bones down and you should feel that in your back. Be careful you don't lean back. Watch your head position is not forward. Okay, you feel it? And now grow as you bring the arms down grow from the top of your head beautiful that's good so when we're doing our exercises that's what we do in every single one we're lifting up drawing the shoulder blades down so now what were we doing what exercise were we doing i can't even remember oh the prances okay so let's do that uh i think funky disco <laughs> why not Get ready. Oh, it's still the introduction. Fall, spring, fall, lift up, just as we were doing. Fall, spring, fall, down. Again, fall, spring. Fall. You singing along? Yes, 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 yes. Three. Now let's go faster. Spring. You have to lift up, don't you, as you do it? Spring. Lift, lift, lift. Get to lie down. So there's lots of things going on. Spring. Again. Spring. And you're really peeling off the ground. Really feel your feet. Peel. It's not easy if you're really working it. Lift up. Keep going. Lift up. Shoulders down. Falling apart. Head in position. Scapulae down. Going faster. Okay. Just, just a nice and light running. Going through the feet. Turn them out. We're peeling, peeling onto the floor. Take them parallel. A 
I can feel my feet. Can you feel yours? How you going there, Irene? Oh, now you should have felt that in your feet and right in your shins or, you know, around the side here. So that's a good one to, to get things working. All righty. Okay, so now we might do, we might do some, a little bit of hip work. Or, no, no, we're going to do this one, aren't we? Yes. Oh, she's got them working today. Okay, now we got, but it's not too hard. Hopefully this is not too hard, but um, it's not, we're not overworking the joints too much, but we are working the feet. We are. <laughs> so we're going to do Batman Jeté. And what we do, just to go over that, I'll move back again, silly me, is we're going to go whole foot, ball of the foot point, but it's, it's like you're sharpening um, a knife. You know that Well, we'll do it slower to start with, but we'll speed up a little bit. But as you do it, really work. Really work the whole foot and then the whole foot coming back. And this, just do that. And you will find that it is quite a good exercise for working everything. All right, so let me see which music can I use for this one? Dixie Outlandish. Yeah, perfect. It's a little bit swingy. Maybe, you know, the, the feeling of the Batmanchette is a bit different from the way you do it in classical ballet, but that's okay. Five, six, seven, eight, and swish. Did you stop in that spot? Swish. Know exactly where you're going to stop. Not too high. Swish. Works it, doesn't it? You'll feel it on the inside of your knee too, which is good. Other leg. Swish. Lift up. Swish. Sharpen that knife. strings a bit feeling that okay good stuff we might now do a little bit of body work because we haven't really done that have we so we're going to do a bit of we're going to use the hips to start with now make sure we're doing what I just talked about what Gina what Miss Gina said <laughs> yes when I taught ballet years ago to children they used to call me Miss Gina all right, so we're going to swivel the hips. That's the start of the spiral. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to be spiraling around as though our back is a perpendicular rod. All right? So we're spiraling around that rod. And the thing that starts the movement is the hips. All right, so if we're going that way, maybe I should go that way because that's your right, isn't it? It's back the front for me because this is my right, but that's your right. So we'll start with your right. And I tend to start on my right just because, you know, because of my brain. So we're going to start, we'll draw the hip back because that's starting the spiral. And then we've got our back starts to turn and then our ribs and then the head. And then to come back, you're going to bring the hip on the other side because you're going to turn to go to the other side. So this hip moves back, then the whole body, and then the head, which is last. And then the hip turns again. It's very good for your spine. Very good for your spine. In fact, we might even turn it around this time. Quite often I'll go into doing a thoracolumbar fascial stretch. That's the stretch for the fascia on your back you know, like a big, big amount of it that can get really tight. And, you know, we, we want to keep our rib cages nice and open. And you should be able to open your rib cages even without breathing. You know, you should be able to feel them open out. Not out here, I mean, out to the side. So if you can't do that, have a little practice at home. Get these ribs moving because there's muscles in between them and they're your respiratory ribs muscles and it's good for them to work we don't want them to get all stopped and stuck and immobile that's not healthy for us so anyway so let's now just we're going to start with this part of the movement and when you can't go any further you're going to just take the arm as far as you can you can't see my arm it's there and you look to that arm and then come back and do it on the other side so we're just going to do that first and then we'll move into the spirals but just follow me all righty now i've got to do another loud one because of the crackling on the um what have i done down with paradise i think we'll do creeping spiders it's a bit crackly maybe i won't do that one i'll do um, this one. Cats searching for the truth. Oh, it'll be a never-ending search, won't it? Other side, see how my hips are going first? Okay, hips first. Hips. Now let's do our spiral hips. Okay, look over the back shoulder. Hold it there. Hips. Whole body. Look over the back shoulder. Again, this time with the arms, like they're dragging, like you're dragging through the sand. And drag through the sand, the hips come first, whole body. Faster. Hip. Hip. higher but don't lift the shoulders the dogs are back to their walkies Well, I think we've probably 
probably almost finished. So we're just going to do a little something to make sure we've done a bit of exercise for our legs in a different way. We're going to use the Alexander technique to stand up. So hinge from the hips, <coughs> let the bottom stick out, come up, and then sitting down, and then standing up, <laughs> and sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up. Now we're going to use the arms. Watch that for Now we'll go to first position. Stand up. Bend, not too turned out with the feet. Just ten to two. Not too turned out. Just a couple of those. Oh, so that you got a nice workout. Very good. All right. I think we can finish there. So, oh, Nella, is it? It's over thirty minutes, isn't it? I'll just wait for Nella to tell me that because I think it is. Unless I'm wrong, I thought we started about just after five, but you just never know. Um, hi, Diane. How are you? I walk around the house all day saying, lift, pull the wing bones down. Oh, that's fantastic, Irene. And if you bring your belly button to your spine, it changes the posture again. And just watch the head position. So... Um, Next time I see you, I'll, I'll have a look and see how you're going. That'll be great. All right, I think we'll finish there anyway because um, I've got to cook the dinner because there's, yes, just over, just over, perfect. Let's do a curtsy and a bow. Curtsy, a leaning down curtsy and a leaning down bow. And I uh, thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow and Practice your rib cage for me. Just lie in bed and try and get your rib cage to open out to the side so you can start moving those ribs respiratory muscles and just see if you can move them. Don't do it with breath yet because I don't want anybody to hyperventilate. Um, just, just see if you can move them open just by pushing them open without even breathing. All right? Okay, well, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.